What is up, folks? Welcome back to another edition of Billy the Kid's No Bullshit Toy Reviews. And today we're going to do part two of the Half the Battle Toys Nanobots figures that um, I'm reviewing. Unfortunately, I had this whole tutorial on painting these figures all set and recorded. I updated my iPhone to the new iOS and it froze in the middle of the update and I lost everything that was on my phone. So I lost all of the reviews I'd been filming and I had to go and redo everything. Since I lost that footage, I don't have the painting of these figures. So what I'm going to do is just explain to you what I did with each. Uh, Megatron here, he was done with uh, paints, with um, airbrush and painting, okay? So a lot of detailing went into this guy from my level of paint. He got a base coat of black. He ended up getting sprayed with a nice uh, sparkly silver. A uh, red Gundam marker was used to highlight the inner sides and the elbows, as well as paint his eyes. And I used the clear Shozy store insignia that fits perfectly on these figures. For Optimus, I only used my Gundam markers and they uh, bled through into the, uh, into the material. So that led to the decision to do a base coat on this guy and then use some Gundam marker to try and uh, color him up a little bit. And I made my own custom seeker because seekers can be anything you want. So buy a couple of these guys and, you know, make your mainline seekers and then make your uh, custom battle fodder. But all in all, these things are so impressive. And I don't know if you've noticed in the background, I have Titan Class Omega Supreme and the Titan Class Arc. And that's how tiny these guys are. Now for little bots, they are so impressive. I'm just going to move these guys out of the way. And I just think that my Megatron came out looking the best. And that's who we're going to focus on. Uh, these figures rotate at the shoulder, come up at the shoulder. Uh, rotate at the elbow. Everything's ball pegged. They all have uh, fists that rotate. They all have waist rotation. They all have ball socketed hips as well as ball socketed knees. Ball sockets here at the feet as well. And the heads are on ball sockets. So these guys are insanely articulated. Every single one of them. Um, I know that there are people that question the, the cost. Uh, I think they're like $18 a piece on TF Source, uh, link down below. But for what you're getting in regards to engineering, and remember, this is a small company. This is not some big company with all funding and all the money in the world to just throw and see if the shit stink, uh, sticks. This is one guy, and he's extremely talented, and he's done a very, very good job with these figures. Um I firmly believe if you're a toy photographer and this is something that you enjoy doing as either a hobby or you make money uh, off of it, these guys are your go-to figures for any Titan photo sessions that you'll be doing because uh, <clears throat> they scale way better with the Titans than any, any of the um, core class figures. I'll tell you that right now. As for detailing, they are highly detailed. You can tell it came out with the paint. Now, uh, there's going to be options when you get these. You're going to have unpainted options, and there's going to be fully colored options already. Um, up to you how you want to do it. I preferred painting them. It just made it even more um, intimate. That's how I'm going to put it. These are intimate figures, and uh, you really get to put your heart and soul into them. I will say that these are not the final product. These are just prototypes that I was sent to review and to give an honest thought on them. And my honest thought is they're wonderful. They're really great. Um, there's so much potential in these little figures. I'm actually going to wrap up the uh, review with a lot of different shots just to show you like what you can do uh, and give maybe somebody some inspiration. But Half the Battle Toys, what do I think? I think they knocked it out of the park. I think they nailed it. I think that these are definitely figures for a select part of the community. I know not everybody's going to love these, but I do know that there are people that are diorama builders, that are model builders, that just like tiny things. Like these are perfect desk bots to have at work. And I would recommend these to anybody 
that uh, really likes, you know, in a sense, making your own action master. You assemble them, you paint them, you uh, add all the character you want. And I applaud them for that. So I think these are definitely worth your buy. And uh, I'm going to send you off with some really cool pictures. Uh, as always, check out my sponsors, St. Mark's Comics, down in the link below. To my Patreons, thank you for your continued support and belief in my channel. Check out Half the Battle Toys uh, on Facebook. I have them linked. And also, you can pre-order these now at TF Source, who I'm linking down below. This is Billy the Kid signing off.